It's the Special Recognition Awards and our first set of nominees are... Take a look. Oh, we don't have any nominees. Ladies and gentlemen, to present this award, we have Aparna Popat and Sachin Sharma, Head of Marketing, Casio India, to grace the stage and give away the award. Special Recognition Award goes to Mr. Arif Khan. Congratulations. Looking sharp in that suit, Mr. Khan. Congratulations. Well, Arif, a big congratulations to you, and uh, I have a few questions for you to actually educate us all about the Winter Olympics. Yeah. We've had many Olympians in the Summer Olympics, but what did it take to prepare for two events at the Winter Olympics? Well, uh, uh, I had to, to really uh, go through a lot of hard work. Uh, it was a journey about 20 years long, and my dream was always to represent India at the Winter Olympics, because normally the people overseas think of India as a desert country or a hot country. But they always forget that we have mountains, we have snow, uh, especially the Himalayas, one of the biggest ranges yep. in the world. So this was my dream. But for, especially for this Olympics, it took me uh, around four years, consecutive four years of training, travel, and a lot of other different work. Well, it says that the one thing that you look forward to most is to get some sleep. And to prepare for the Olympics, what would it take to motivate a nation of 1.3 billion people to prepare more winter athletes? No, definitely. Like, if, if we see to to go through the Winter Olympics and be the winners, be, the, be among the medal contenders at the, at the world, uh, we will have to compete at the level of Europeans, mostly at the level of Europeans. And the Europeans have the mountains with the infrastructure. We have mountains, we have snow, but less of infrastructure. If we could develop the infrastructure of that level, and we will see in 10 years, we will have the medal contenders from the India. And Indian flag will rise above in the Winter Olympics. That's my goal. Thank you. Arif, also, you are a really brave man because I also heard that you postponed your wedding for the Olympics. Is your wife with us? Uh, no, she's not. <laughs> right. Have you gotten married since? Not yet. Maybe in August. <laughs> Well, we really wish you the best. A big congratulations, and thank you for doing our country proud. Thank you. Thank you all.